Okay, so this trip and Sweet Sleep, uh, the organization I get to go to Uganda with, um, this is just awesome. Uh, I first learned about Sweet Sleep back in 2005 um, when I was working in Nashville. Um, our company partnered with Sweet Sleep um, at Christmas and uh, I learned about this organization that um, had a real simple, it seemed, and straightforward purpose. Um, they thought that, you know, kids deserve to have a place um, where they can rest and, uh, as the name implies, uh, get a sweet night's sleep. You can probably relate to that. I love my bed. I love naps. I love sleeping. Um, if I sleep on the floor, though, it would be a different story. I don't think I would appreciate it quite as much. Um, so this organization, what they do is uh, they build beds in orphanages. Um, they have been working primarily in Moldova um, for the past couple years. And uh, right back before Christmas, I was looking on their website, and I see this announcement that says, uh, join us and trailblaze with us to Africa. And uh, they, I believe, have had organizations that have contacted them saying, um, I heard this is what you do. Can you come help us? Can, you know, would you build beds for us? And um, I'm really thankful that they said yes. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over to Uganda. Um, we're partnering with two different organizations. Um, gosh, Africa Greater Life Mission and Caring Heart. Um, I might have gotten the name of that first one wrong. Um, check the blog and make sure. Um, but basically these are two, two places um, just outside of the capital of Kampala. Um, organizations where I believe what I read was that 75, no, over 75 percent of the people that are there are sleeping on the ground. Um, those that have a bed, um, it's not like the bed you sleep in every night. I'll just leave it at that. Um, what makes this really crucial right now is that Uganda recently passed a law, get this, it's illegal for the kids to sleep on the floor at the orphanage. Um, it's illegal for more than one kid to share a bed. Um, one of these organizations that has, I think, at least 200 people there, they have eight beds. Eight! Um, if the government came by, what that would mean is that, I mean, it, it would very likely get shut down. Um, maybe not shut down, but things would have to change. And, I don't like that. I don't like the thought of that. I mean, you've got these kids, they're orphans, um, possibly due to the war. Possibly their parents died of AIDS. Um, possibly they're infected with HIV. Um, they deserve a good night's rest. <laughs> you know, they deserve a place like that. Um, so we're going to go and we're going to build them some beds. Uh, if you could have seen me trying to build my own bed here, um, you would laugh at the fact that I'm going to build beds there. But, again, you know what? <laughs> it just doesn't matter. I mean, I can be taught. It, it, they can teach me how to do this. It doesn't take much. Um, but it's something that they can't provide for themselves right now. Probably couldn't provide it in the near future. So we're going to go. Want to join me? Um, I'd really love for you to partner with me in this. Uh, you may not know these kids, but um, <laughs> they'd appreciate your help. Um, take my word on that. So think about it. Uh, it. It doesn't take much to change someone's life. And um, I can't change the world, but maybe for a couple kids. So think about it. Join me, please.